Hey guys, welcome back to Wise Man Company. I'm Ben, and today I'm going to talk to you about the DeSantis Double Mag Ankle Carrier. Uh, this has been on the market for a while, pretty affordable. I've been using one of these for five years, I think. Um, there's not that many reviews on it uh, on YouTube or online, so I figured I'd give you guys a little review on it because I think it's kind of an underrated piece of kit. Um, I've used this particularly when I had to dress up or I needed to be uh, really low profile with what I was carrying. And um, it's just a kind of comfortable, easy to put on uh, little piece of gear. So I'm gonna bring the camera closer. We can look at it, see what fits in it, see what works. Obviously, mag carrier is in the name of it, so it'll carry mags, but it can carry a, a bunch of other things. So I think you're gonna find it interesting. I'm gonna bring the camera closer, take a look at this, and see what we can fit in it. All right, guys, I uh, brought uh, my Galco ankle glove in for comparison, size comparison. Um, we also did a review uh, on ankle carry, not no one I did not too long ago. Uh, Galco ankle glove, kind of the same construction. Obviously, there's some leather in there, but very similar size, very similar construction as the DeSantis, which we're going to go over. So there's my 26, and I usually wear this DeSantis in conjunction with my ankle glove. So that's just there for size comparison. And I'll give you guys some uh, different clips of me wearing it on my ankle with my pants pulled over top of it just to see how it looks from the outside. Uh, it's pretty concealable, like I said. But let's get into, first, the construction of this ankle mag carrier. So this is from DeSantis. Um, as you can see, it's neoprene, so it has some stretch. Neoprene doesn't breathe very well, so it gets a little hot. Um, uh, not too uncomfortable in my opinion. I typically wear higher socks whenever I'm ankle carrying, uh, just to keep it from either rubbing, even though it's comfortable, or uh, creating any other hot spots on my legs. And when you first ankle carry, you do have to get used to it. There is a little break in time, uh, just for your body to adjust. I usually feel it in my knees more than anything. And uh, after a little bit, I don't feel it anymore. So just, just keep that in mind. But this is all neoprene construction. There's no sheepskin on the inside, like you'll see on the uh, Galco ankle glove. This is, this is a really nice perk in my opinion. This makes it really comfortable. But uh, I think they just wanted to keep the profile of this really thin, so they didn't want to add another layer. Um, but like I said, neoprene construction, very stretchy. Uh, if you have larger ankles, and I mean like really large ankles, this might be a little bit of a difficult um, option for you to wear um, because as you stick stuff in there, it takes up your, uh, your adjustment, uh, obviously because you're making this bigger. Um, but let's see what we can fit in this thing. So it's meant for magazines. Here's a Glock 17 mag that I'll typically carry in there, um, right like that. And it fits in nicely, hangs up high a little bit. You have some retention here, uh, Velcro, sh Velcro strap that goes over top of it, and it's it's not gonna come out. I mean, I've done all sorts of stuff with this, and <laughs> the retention on it is pretty awesome. So there's a Glock 17, and here is a Glock 26 mag with a Barracuda mag extension. Um, and I'll show you how that fits in there, just like that little bit lower over profile it's a little thicker at the end but you're not having any overhang as you can see which you might have with a Glock which you will have with the Glock 17 mag so just depends on how many extra rounds you want to carry some guys carry just two Glock 17 mags in there totally fine um, but I think this rig really shines when you want to carry a little variety and I'll show you what I mean so we'll just leave this Glock 26 with the Barracuda mag extension in um, for those of you that want to carry a spare light, don't know why you would want to, but some dudes do. Uh, this is just a Streamlight Protac 2L, so it's the longer uh, uh, Streamlight. It carries two CR123 batteries, so it's longer, but that fits in there really nicely. Velcro strap over top, and then you have a spare light in there. Really nice, in my opinion. 
um, or you don't want anything in your pockets, you're really dressed up, you don't want a clip on the outside of your pocket hanging out, um, this is a great way to conceal a light down on your ankle. Uh, moving on, here's just a Leatherman. So, classic multi-tool. Let's see how this fits in. Just slide it in. This is gonna fit in really nicely. As you can see, very low profile, and you can even get a bigger multi-tool than that in there. Um, uh, this fits in great. Uh, this is just a really thin, tiny, standard Leatherman. Uh, it's the kick, the sidekick, and uh, I'm sure you could, your surges, your wingmans, your waves would fit in there, no problem. Um, here is another little pocket tool. You guys might know this one, the Wise Guy. Wise Guy fits down here extremely well. You're just gonna tuck it in there, push it in, and then your strap goes right over top, and then you have a little bit of uh, of uh, pry bar, uh, box wrenches, um, bit driver, and a little bit of knuckle protection in case you need to go that route down there. But the Wise Guy fits in very nicely. This is our burp, or our dark oil bronze Wise Guy. Uh, we also have it in gunmetal, but uh, just another great accessory to have if you need it, and no one's ever going to know it because it's on your ankle. Moving now, what about spare knife? Uh, a lot of guys like to carry a spare knife. Here's a paramilitary two. Not a huge knife, but it is on the larger side, and this rig absolutely has no problem carrying this PM2. Just like that. As you can see, fits right in there, no problem with the spare bag. Um, maybe you wanted to carry a, not a spare mag, but a spare knife and a spare light. Even smaller of a profile. Uh, you would actually probably forget these are even down there. That's how comfortable this would be. Uh, just, uh, uh, I don't know if it's something you guys would want to do, but uh, like I said, it gives you options. Spare light, spare knife. What about medical? Everyone always talks about carrying medical. Medical is very important. Obviously, if you're going to carry a gun, you probably should have some sort of medical nearby. Um, and it's often neglected because it's big, it's bulky. So let's put our spare mag back in just for size comparison. Spare mag. Uh, here's a SWAT T. Here's a trainer. Um, and you're thinking, well, how the hell are you going to get fit that in there? SWAT T's are very pliable. You can fold this in half, and I'll show you it fits right in here, and it's almost the same size as a spare mag. Just shove that down in there, put your strap on, boom, it's in there. Uh, is it a little bit more bulky? Yeah, sure, of course, but uh, you have a SWAT T on there, so you have a little bit of a tourniquet, uh, pressure bandage, uh, obviously you guys that know anything about SWAT Ts, you know they're, they're pretty handy uh, in, in the medical field, you can use them for a lot of different applications. But this is a great way to carry a little bit of medical with your spare mag. All right guys, so that's the DeSantis double mag carrier for your ankle. Um, great little piece of kit in my opinion. Is it for everybody? No. Uh, it works great with your ankle gun um, or your regular appendix carry or uh, a three o'clock, four o'clock carry primary gun. Um, I think it just gives you options, which I always love and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there love it as well. If you like this video, hit that like button. Go follow us on uh, Instagram and Facebook. And of course we want you to subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of good stuff coming out, so hit that subscribe button down below and uh, you can keep up to date with what we're talking about and what videos we're coming out with. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.